Welcome everybody, my name is Sal and today I'm going to do another real world bash script this time to help us load Cuckoo Sandbox. Cuckoo Sandbox needs three different commands and three different terminal screens for it to properly load. So we're going to write those three, I'm going to show you how to uh, write them correctly and execute them. And here are the uh, three commands that we need, each one on their separate terminal screens. The first one is the Cuckoo Router and we're going to pass the password of the machine the second one is the web run server the third one is when everything's ready and then you have to right click on a specific ip address but i created a fourth script that loads firefox or in whatever uh browser you want and it comes from that third uh command line so i'm going to show you uh, how it works the password is automatically passed this is a big no-no for security uh, reasons, but uh, in our case, it's gonna work. At least in my case, it works, and here it is. Um, and it works for us at work because our machine is standalone and has no internet connectivity. Um, you can also um, take the password and put it on a list and then just uh, call on that list so you don't show the password. It doesn't get stored in history. I'm gonna open terminal or the terminator and we're gonna open four different screens so I can show you each script um, and you can pause the video in each one and write the script as you see it. So this is all you gotta type, the alias. If you don't know, uh, basically uh, you can name your file anything you want as long as it's executed, uh, self-executable. And you put in this uh, path, user s bin or user local bin. This is the script for the second script, which contains a one second delay. And then here is the password. And like I said, um, it's passed and our systems are standalone. So we don't need to worry about that, uh, our security. But if you want, you can put it on a list. And then instead of writing the name, you just write the name of the list and you don't have it in the history. And here is the actual uh, command for this first terminal screen, which this one holds on for one second and then executes number three, which also holds on for one second, has a one second delay. Uh, this is the web uh, run server. And then this is the third one, one second delay and it calls on the fourth one, and then it executes the last command line. And then the fourth one has, uh, grabs the information, which I already copy and pasted it, and it opens up my preferred browser, which I put Firefox, you can use whatever you want, Chrome or whatever. So now pause the video here and type what you see. All right, so you save all four of those scripts on their user S bin. You have to give it uh, pseudo chmod plus x, which is executable to each one of those. And here is a test of it, which works. It's, uh, I put it on their S bin, um, but I think it works on their user uh, local bin. And yeah, this is everything uh, that you need to execute it. Um, there might be a way to auto execute it as soon as uh, Ubuntu loads up, but I haven't figured it out yet. So if I do, I'll let you guys know. Okay, I'm going to show you a little bonus here. If you want your users to know what to type as soon as they log in into Ubuntu because you haven't done it, uh, done an auto executable, you can write this under the .bash rc file. Just... Uh, you can just enter it at the beginning here um, in a message like, uh, I don't know, enter Cuckoo Sandbox or whatever you want to do. Cuckoo to start Cuckoo Sandbox. And then we're going to open a new terminal and you can see it right there at the beginning. 
You can also add hex code, make it flashier. We can make a blink. We can change the colors, uh, dash E, uh, then backslash E, and then the number. Uh, we need a, a square bracket, number, semicolon, and then another number for the color and M. And we terminate it at the end, and you can just pause this video whenever you like. So the first, the four was an underscore and the 46 was the highlight. Um, so you can also um, give it bold. I think bold is one, blinking is five, and then uh, the uh, highlight, which is 46 M. And you, um, you terminate it with a back, backwards slash E in a curly bracket zero M as you can see at the end. The last position are colors. Um, here you terminate it. And that's all I wanted to show. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.